Today we're gonna be talking a little bit about DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles for our beloved Black Ops 3 Zombies, specifically about when can we see the M1911 and the AK-74U in Zombies, and it seems like it should be coming out very soon, and I know it's not the biggest thing ever, like, let's be real, just the M1911 and AK-74U, mmm, I know, it's not enough, and some don't even care, like, let's be real, if it's present or not in Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles, but when it does come out, it will be a so-called new thing to play with in Zombies and can make the maps a little bit more fun again. I will only say the Pack Punch M1911 aka my boy the P Destroyer Mustang and Sally in the beginning of this video. But anyways, we know we have got it in Black Ops 3 multiplayer a little while ago and just a couple of weeks back it was confirmed by Treyarch that we will see it back in Zombies very soon and they went over on Twitter and said the following. We heard you loud and clear, the M1911 is slated to be added to Zombies Chronicles in the next few weeks, stand by. And that was on June 5th, 2017. And by the time I'm making this video, guess what time it is. Just just guess. Just take a while, guess. It's friggin' July 8th, 2017. So that was a little over four weeks ago. I know, what the heck. That was over four weeks ago. I know, guys. That's why I'm making this video. I got you. But it means we should be very close to see the M1911 and the AK-74U to return in Zombies, right? But uh, the thing is, we do have a time range that I want to discuss with you guys, which seems to be very accurate. But only time will tell its credibility, so there's that. But I know a lot of you kind of thought of something like this. Why the M1911 and the AK-74U wasn't present in Zombies Chronicles from the beginning? Well, in an interview with Jason Blundell a while ago, we learned that they haven't had enough time to implement my boy M1911 and maybe your boy AK-74U in Zombies Chronicles. And we as the whole community were saying, just add it now with an update, bro. To which he replied and said he couldn't just put it in like that. If Treyarch did that, it would mess up the whole multiplayer in some way, shape, or form. The campaign that barely anyone plays now would be a little bit messed up. If you do play the campaign still, then roast me in the comments. I I, I, I guess I can take it. And even our beloved zombies could have faced some major issues. So he said they will push out an update very soon. And we know with, the, with that, we will get the M1911 and the AK-74U in zombies and of course some glitches and bugs will be fixed uh, with that patch as well. Now the question is, when are we going to see them in Zombies? We've already uh, waited, it's already like 4 weeks since uh, Trek tweeted that tweet out if you get what I'm saying and I'm sure they wouldn't go over 8 weeks because that will become a couple of months time frame right? Now check this out, a week ago we heard about Days of Summer event for Call of Duty and yes we are going to be getting a special event or Days of Summer event for Black Ops 3 as well. Now this is what the Activision block says. You'll also be able to celebrate Days of Summer in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on July 11th through August 1st. Players will get a chance to earn a limited pack bunch camo. Oh, here we go again. And will also be able to play all four of the maps from the Awakening DLC for free, which is really damn awesome for the people that don't have it. But anyways, they also says, including the Water Park of Doom, aha, Splash, and if you happen to own Awakening already then Trek will give you double XP during days of summer from 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on July 11 until 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on August 1st. And that's just the tip of the Sandberg, uh, the, the wordplay, goddamn. Because across all three games, you'll find special playlists, challenges, and events to power up your days of summer experience. So grab the sunscreen, wax your board, and claim a spot on the sand right now because days of summer is here for you to enjoy. Don't miss out because that the sun goes down after June or I mean August 1st, <laughs> Radical Man. Uh, now this time frame for Days of Summer is from July 11th to August 1st. Now we're four weeks in already, like I said, after Trek tweeted that confirmation tweet out and July 11th will be week number five and August 1st will be week number eight. Now my theory is that it will make it in Black Ops 3 in less than six weeks in my opinion. July 11th is a Tuesday and it will be a week number five and July 18th will be week number six. After that, it's gonna be July 20th. It will be a reveal for Call of Duty World War II. So of course they're not gonna drop. They're not gonna drop very close to that. And I'm assuming it's not gonna be out on July 18th, but it still can. Now I personally think it will release on this coming Tuesday, July the 11th or on July 18th max, but it will be during this event for sure. It 
it will not go after August just because it will be all about hyping up the next Call of Duty if you get what I'm saying and July 11th is a perfect start but let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you did enjoy this video hit that like uh, subscribe if you're new and check out more videos on the channel by clicking one of the end screen right now